Wonder, wonder, wake me up when September ends. The last of September was hard. I wasn't used to getting up so early in the morning. I wasn't used to this whole notion of homework. And I got my first quiz at the end of the month. I never got quizzes when mom homeschooled me. I also didn't like how I had had no free time anymore. Before, I was able to play whenever I wanted to, but now it felt like I always had stuff to do for school. And the being at school was awful in the beginning. Every new class I had was I had was like a new chance for kids to not stare at me. They would sneak pics at me from behind their notebooks or when they thought I wasn't looking. They would take the longest way around me to avoid bumping into me in any way. Like I had some germ they could catch. Uh, like my face was contagious. And the hallways, which were always crowded. My face would always surprise some unsuspecting kid who maybe hadn't heard about me. The kid would make the sound you make when you hold your breath, breath before going underwater. A little uh sound. This happened maybe four or five times a day for the first few weeks. On the stairs, in front of the lockers, in the library. 500 kids in a school. Eventually, every one of them was going to see my face at some time, and I knew after the first couple of days that were that word had gotten around about me, because every once in a while I'd catch a kid elbowing his friends as they passed me, or talking behind their hands as I walked by them. I can only imagine what they were saying about me actually i prefer not to even try to imagine it i'm not saying i'm not saying they were doing any of these things in a mean way mean way by the way not once did they not once did any kid laugh or make noises or do anything like that they were just being normal dumb kids i know that i kind of wanted to tell them that like it's okay i know I'm weird looking. Take a look. Take a look. I don't bite. Hey, the truth is, if a Wookiee started going to the school all of a sudden, I'd be curious. I'd probably stare a bit. And if I was walking with a Jack or Summer, I'd probably whisper to them, Hey, there's the Wookiee. And if the Wookiee caught me saying that, he'd know I wasn't trying to be mean. I was just pointing out the faith, fact that he's a Wookiee. It took about one week for the kids in my class to get used to my face. These were the kids I'd see every day in all my classes. It took about two weeks for the rest of the kids in my grade to get used to my face. These were the kids I'd see in the cafeteria, yard time, PE, music library computer class it took about a month for the last to rest of the kids in the entire school to get used to it these were the kids in all the other grades they were the big kids some of them some of them had crazy haircuts some of them had earring in their noses some of them had uh, pimples none of them looked like me Jack will. I hung out with Jack in homeroom, English, history, computer, music, and science, which were all the classes we had together. The teachers assigned seats in every class, and I ended up sitting next to Jack in every single class. So I figured, uh, so I figured either the teachers were told to put me and Jack together. Or it was to it was a totally incredible co coincidence. I walked to classes with Jack. Uh, I walked to classes with Jack too. I know he noticed and kids staring at me, 
but he pretended not to notice. One time, though, on our way to history, there's a huge eighth grader who was zooming, zooming down the stairs two steps at a time, accidentally bumped into us at the bottom of the stairs and knocked me down. As the guy helped me stand up, he got a look at my face and without even meaning to, he just said, Wow! Then he patted me on the shoulder like he was dusting me off and took off after his friends. For some reason, me and Jack started cracking up. That's a lot. That guy made the funniest face said Jack as we sat down at our desk. I know, right? I said. He was like, wow! I swear, I think he wet his pants. We were laughing so hard that the teacher, Mrs. Mr. Roach, had to ask us to settle down. Later, after we finished reading about how ancient Sumerians built us some dyers, Jack whispered, Do you ever want to beat these, those kids up? Do you ever want to beat those kids up? I sure it. I guess. I don't know. I want to. I think you should get a secret uh, squirt gun or something and attack, attach it to your eyes somehow. And every time someone stares at you, you will squirt them in the face. With uh, some green smile or something, I answered, No, no, with a slug juice mixed with a dog pee. Yeah, I said, completely agreeing. Guys, said Mr. Roach from across the room, people are still reading. We nodded and looked down at our books. Then Jack whispered, Are you always going to look this way, August? I mean, can't you get plastic surgery or something? I smiled and pointed to my face. Hello, this is after plastic surgery. Jack clapped his hand over his forehead and started laughing hysterically. Dude, you should chew your doctor. He answered between giggles. This time, the two of us were laughing so much we couldn't stop. Even after Mr. Roach came over and made us both switch chairs with the kids next to us. Mr. Brown's October Percept. Precept. Mr. Brown's October Precept. Mr. Brown's Precept for October was your these your these are your monument monument he told us that this was written on the tombstone of some egyptian 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 guy that died thousands of years ago since we were just about to start studying ancient egypt in history mr brown thought this was a good choice for us precept our homework assignment was to write a paragraph about what we thought the precept meant or how we felt about it. This is what I wrote. This precept means that we should be remembered for the things we do. The things we do are the most important things of all. They are more important than what we say or what we look like. The things we do outlast our mort mortality. The things we do are like monuments that people build to honor heroes after they've died. They are like the pyramids that the Egyptians built to honor the pharaohs. Only instead of being made out of stone, they are made out of the mem memories the people have of you. That's why your deeds are like your monuments built with the memories instead of with the stone.